Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a tour on the guinea pig's new playhouse. So this is a complete big change and I am really excited to go and show you the whole new setup and all the guinea pigs. So this playhouse is 5 by 7 feet. I will put a link in the description as to where you can find this shed because I have had a lot of questions in the past about where you can get the shed from so I will link that down in the description. So this is called the Poppy Cottage and it's from a company called York Timber Products. This is what you can see when you first open up the doors. To the left of when you walk into the playhouse there is this rack with many useful pots. This is from Ikea and it stores Miffy's brushes and hairdressing scissors. Then we've got some pine cones and other toys for them to play with. Then here is just useful bits and bobs like string and scissors and a pen. Then we have the disinfectant hanging up. Then I have these hooks which are hanging different woven toys for the guinea pigs to play with and they really do love those. Upstairs I just have a box full of wood shavings. I have a bag which is storing the meadow hay, a spare litter tray, then over here I have a crate full of weighing scales, food for the guinea pigs and some food bowls. Then here are the buckets I use to clean out the guinea pigs and then they have some pellets as well. Here is where the ladder is. This is just how I get up and down of the stairs. Then to the right of this I have this wooden platform. This is so useful as I will be able to use this to do health checks for the guinea pigs and to weigh them on. So this is a really handy platform to have. Directly underneath this platform we have a corner litter tray. I'm trying to litter train the guinea pigs as I don't really want to bed the whole playhouse with wood shavings. I think it would be much better to keep it much tidier. So here they have a corner litter tray which Oreo is in currently. In front of that we have this wooden bendy log sticks bridge. We also have this window which also allows a lot of light to get in here. Here I have all of the guinea pigs hutches. Now their large hutch doesn't fit through the door of this playhouse so I had to compromise. We've got all of these small hutches. So these two are designed for guinea pigs and rabbits. They have a lift up lid which is very handy. And then, oh look at Hazel on there. We have a larger dog kennel down there. So at night I fill these hutches with lots of straw to keep the guinea pigs nice and warm. And as you can see, this is a really great little sun trap for them. It doesn't get too hot in here, it's just right for them and they get a nice little bit of sunshine on the morning. As you can see the guinea pigs are all enjoying a nice sun bathe at the minute. The roof of this kennel lifts up and this is where you can see they have a litter tray and pandas in there. This fits perfectly inside this dog kennel. Then they also have an IKEA bag dispenser as a hay rack. This just hooks on to the side of it. In front of the hutches the guinea pigs have quite a lot of floor space so in this area they have some wooden shelves and they also have a couple of toys to play with then to the back corner over there they have a water dish because I find that with water bottles they always leak so a water bowl is best for my guinea pigs on the floor they have a few things to play with, they've got some pine cones, they've got a willow ball there which they adore, 
then they've got another woven ball there for them to chew on. Here is an overview of the whole of their floor space. Underneath the upper level we have these lights which are so useful when it's dark at night I can switch them on and it also helps the guinea pigs to see overnight because it's not really fair to let them run around in the dark so these are really good to have. Over here is still where the cat flap was for the bunnies but because the guinea pigs can't work a cat flap I have to lift it up. I will show you when I go on the outside but this is just how they get to the inside or to the outside. On this side of the shed I have some hooks, I hang some CNC grids up across the cat flap overnight so that the guinea pigs cannot get outside. Joined onto the playhouse they have this outdoor enclosure. This is from Amazon, it's by a company called Bunny Business and they have a range of products. They also sell the small hutches I have on the inside. I'm not sure on the exact dimensions but it is fairly spacious. This outdoor run is fully weatherproof which is why I like it so much as previously the guinea pigs had no shelter in their other outdoor enclosure so this is suitable for the majority of different weathers and it's just much more guinea pig appropriate. So I believe this stuff is called Coralux or Coralux or something along those lines. Then we have some wood placed on top to just keep it in place. At the front of this room there is a large entrance door which I will show you now. This is a great access point to get to the guinea pigs. At night I keep it locked with one of these clips just to make it extra safe for them. So on the inside they don't have a lot out here but they do have quite a few things to keep them interested and occupied. So you have some more of those wooden shells which they love. There is also another tunnel hideaway for them to keep safe in. And they're just having some hay out of this flower hanging basket which works really well. It just hangs on to the top of the run. Over here you can see that the cat flap is hung up with this bungee. So like I said the guinea pigs don't know how to work a cat flap so this just really holds it out of the way for them so they don't have to do anything. Then to get them in and out they have a couple of logs so it's just easier for them. The great thing about where this run is placed is that they get quite a lot of sunlight in the morning so they do get a lot warmer than they did in their previous aviary which they lived in. There is always the option to bring out a really nice run for them on the grass which joins on to the rest of their accommodation in the warmer months and hopefully that'll be soon because weather is starting to improve so hopefully they will get out on the grass quite a lot and I'm sure they will love that. Thanks for watching this video I hope that you enjoyed seeing the guinea pigs new accommodation so yeah I will see you guys next time bye